for the complete schedule for my latest series, Herbal Healing Sessions, come to my website at alikamenova.com. I hope to see you all there. Namaste. Namaste, beautiful yogis. Welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali. And today we're doing another herbal healing class. It is going to be orange blossom healing session. Oranges, just on their own, I would put them both in a fruit healing category in, and in an herbal category because they're that powerful. And I can do the fruit healing in the following up series down the line because as passionate as I am about herbs, I'm even more passionate about fruit. So today we're going to combine both. Orange blossom water is a really good water to use on the face to uplift and freshen up your skin just like rose water. And then the essential oil is uh, immune booster and detoxifier and uplifter, mood uplifter and oranges. Oh, there I could go for a few days about them, but um, they're used to clean up the lymphatic system, to pump the lymph, to detoxify the body, boosting the immune system does by detoxifying and strengthening the cells. That's why when we slice an orange, it looks like the cells in the body. Really love that, really love observing things, their colors, their shapes, because they resemble the same frequencies that they affect. And those frequencies that they affect, they also form the same shapes based on their frequency. So oranges really strengthen the connective tissue as well. Uh, they detoxify us on a cellular level, very important for dealing with viruses because that's where actually it will be in the future, the real science, I think. And they're extremely powerful. If you want to prevent stretch marks, any skin conditions, just pound the oranges. They can help with decalcifying the pineal gland, which is one of the main reasons I think humanity has been disconnected from its true self its true soul and there is something called soul contracts how many of you have looked into it or are familiar with it and those soul contracts we come on earth abiding by the karmic laws and stuck in a cycle of suffering and samsara because we sign a contract to pretty much forget our true self and be constantly continuously searching for the true self so there is ways for us to really elevate past this lower vibrational uh, being, uh, existence, and step out of it in a higher dimensional existence. So, orange in um, Chinese medicine is used to tonify um, the stomach and the spleen and to affect the lungs. It affects the lungs, which is another way how it works with the immunity and the um, healing process during colds and flus. And it is also very, this is really interesting, it's used for um, stagnant liver key, liver key stagnation, which can result in PMS and endometriosis and a lot of the female issues and the female hormonal issues. Of course, oranges can lower the blood pressure and uh, the cholesterol. It's just, as I said, we can talk about oranges forever and we won't cover it all. Now, the flower essence, <laughs> coming all the way to the flower essence, it can help us connect to our true nature, true self, which is profoundly joyous. And that's why they're uplifter. That's why they're used as an uplifter to see the light at the end of the tunnel after periods of depression or feeling isolated, lost, um, tired, sad. They can help uplift a tired and depressed soul. So um, we're going to contemplate that. It's a really powerful, powerful thing. I think it's something to include pretty much daily in our uh, diet, all the citruses without exceptions and all the remedies that come from them, just such as orange essential oil and flower essence, water, etc. So remember to flow with strength in this and we'll work on joy today, on uplifting and really, really connecting. Remember to flow with strength and ease.
starting in the front of the mat. Inhale the hands over the head. Exhale them over the heart. Joyous heart. Again, inhale, lift. And exhale. Joyous heart. Really feel it lifting and opening physically. Inhale, reach. Exhale. Bring in the belly. Firm up the abdominal wall. Inhale, lift. And exhale. Inhale. Lift. And exhale. Inhale, lift. And exhale. Now we're going to lift and reach back because this is a really uplifted thing, an uplifting pose. Reaching back and lengthening. Don't collapse into the lower back. Lengthen. And exhale, dive down. A stomach vacuum. Look ahead, plank, chaturanga, upper dog, hold it for a moment. Chaturanga, downward dog. Inhale the right leg up, open it. And step it through, wild thing. And reverse this move, step the right, bring the right knee across and flip over this way. So another wild thing here. And let's do that dance a few more times. For these classes, I'm really not thinking at all about the class because I want to really see the energy of the plant itself. And one legged down dog, step it through, high lunge. They're so powerful whenever our third eye is open, pineal gland decalcified, we're able to really deepen that connection to our intuition. And we're all genius on some level. We just have to continue working on that. <sighs> on deepening the intuition. Exhale down. And we're going to go back to one legged down dog. Step it down. Take the left leg up. Wow thing. So finding within our silence the genius feeling, something that we realize, it doesn't have to have words. And again, wild thing, keep the dance going. I think when we contemplate plants, we can really have genius moments. So it doesn't have to come into any form of words and sentences, but it can be a feeling that you're left with after the class or after the contemplation. <sighs> Step it through. High lunge.
exhale down plank and we're going to do a few freeform fluid moves here with the spine and down dog Inhale the right leg up and open it. Exhale it down. Well thing. Opening. Table top, bring the both hands behind you. Reverse it. One legged down dog. And here we're going to open the knee out, bending at the knee. Bend the left knee and come up and down. Bend and lift. Bend and lift. Bend and lift. Step it through, warrior two. Reverse it. Bring the arm back and around. Open, flourishing heart, flowering heart. You can imagine blossoming from your heart a bouquet of jasmine and orange blossom and rose just springing out of the heart exhale side angle and plank chaturanga up dog Chaturanga, down dog. Take the left leg up and wild thing hold it opening the heart lifting flower blossom of uh, orange it has that intoxicating aroma similar to jasmine in between jasmine and vanilla to me it's so intoxicating same with jasmine it's also now aphrodisiac aphrodisiac tabletop Lift, 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 really feel your legs working here. And reverse it while thing. One legged down dog. Bend the knee, bend the left knee and open it out and then bend the right and lift little pumps <sighs> opening the hip great step it through warrior two reverse it wrap back and around Side angle, keep feeling that blossoming heart. The human heart vibrates on such high frequency and it's one of the most powerful 
forces in the universe. We have to have an unobstructed connection to it. Plank, Chaturanga, up dog, Chaturanga, down dog. Take the right knee into the chest in down dog and you're gonna spin it slightly across to the left and step it. Step it forward, little walks. Walks with a circle spin. Walking forward, spinning. It gets harder here. And now we're gonna walk it back. Engage the core. Great. Downward facing dog. Drop the knees on the ground. Hands coming onto the knees, hip width apart. Hands on the lower back. Fingers pointing up or out. If you can point them up, do that. And Lift through the heart. And stretching it out, hands at the front of the mat, push the booty back, extended puppy pose, forehead on the ground. Soften the shoulders. And really try to sit back as the fingers are planted and not moving, not sliding back. An intense stretch. Down dog. Take the right leg up. Open the knee. Drop it behind. Well thing. Blossoming heart. Side plank with ankle hold. And step it to the front, twist. Left hand on the floor, right arm up. And twist even more. Roll onto the outer edges of the feet and open the heart, radiating. Flowers are really, really in tune with the human soul and heart. Emotional, emotional body. Step it back, plank, chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga, down dog. That's why the remedies work more and more as we purify our own energy vibrations, body. We're trying to create light and a light emotional state with self-forgiveness and letting go. And letting go is also part of the flower essence of orange. We need to let go in order to continue forward, especially with self-sabotage, blame, guilt, and behaviors that keep us in chains, enslaved. We need to lighten the heart because in this cycle of samsara, even when we die, the astral is not much different than here. We take the emotional in the astral. So the things we haven't worked out, we take with us. Take the left leg up and drop it behind the wild thing. And side plank, grab your ankle. And step it at the front, twist lunge. Roll 
Roll onto the outer edges, deepen it and open the heart. Plank, Chaturanga, Upward Dog, Chaturanga, Downward Dog. Take the right leg up. Lift it, come into plank or semi plank so your booty will be lifted forward and chaturanga with a leg lift from my old school back bending class and up dog and chaturanga down dog. We'll do the same on the other side. Take the left leg up, come into semi plank. In between plank and down dog, so we're bringing the shoulders forward and chaturanga and up dog and knees on the ground, extended puppy pose with the hands reaching first to the left and then to the right. Center, heart to the ground. Melting the heart, connecting to the earth. Symbolically imagine connection to the earth. Roots. And down dog. Let's walk the hands back to the feet, forward fold. Straight back, come up to standing, walk yourself up to a wall, facing the wall with your back and bring your hands back onto the wall. Now you don't have to go very deep here, just see where it feels good. Face your feet forward so that when you press forward you can extend the tailbone, align the hips. And breathe. You can keep your elbow straight up. And walk yourself out. A few circles, big circles, swimming. Hands over the heart, step at the front, inhale, reach, exhale, forward fold, inhale, look ahead, plank. Strong plank. So here we're going to do a plank exercise. You can see the demonstration. So we're gonna focus on more opening the front and we're going to take the right hand to the left foot or heel, tap. All right, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10. What should we call this one? I think we can call it, I might be wrong, it's either a Russian or an Irish dancer plank. You know that dance with a tap, tap. <laughs> so I think that will be the name. All right, let's go again. One, I have to refresh my folk dance memory. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take a break. You can open. Let's go again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Take a break. You can try to do that version with lifting the leg way higher, such as this. Let's go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're at fifty. So probably most of you are done, but I am tempted to go for another 50, what do you think? You can skip it forward, <laughs> but you're gonna skip on a lot of fun. So if you're done, skip another few minutes and you'll get through this <laughs> next 50 rounds, or you can just lay and watch me <laughs> and laugh, or better yet, just do it, because <sighs> you can. And you can modify it, of course you can modify. You can do just this, strengthening the back and the butt. And again, it's an opening pose. We can do the full version. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, contracting the core. 10, no break. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, one, two, three, four, Five, six, that's real obliques here. Seven, eight, nine, forty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is on fire. <sighs> Great. All right. A few circles here. And we'll top it off with a little stomach vacuum. So here we can work on bringing the breath back to normal. With intention. With Ujjayi really. And stomach vacuum. Down dog. This was a joyous sequence for sure. A 
Let's jump the feet on the outside of the hands. Pump up here. Jump into plank. Squeezing the belly. Jump again. Pop up. Jump back. Pop up. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Plank. Up dog. Down dog. Inhale the right leg up. Open it. Wow thing. And here we're going to lower either on the floor or just off the floor onto the right toes and lift and lower and lift and lower and lift two more step it through Warrior one. Straightening the lead knee. Revolving triangle. And intense side stretch. Leading with your belly if you can. Ujjayi. Plank, Chaturanga, Upward Dog, Down Dog, Inhale the left leg up, Wow well Thing, Sit it down and sweep it up, One, Two, Three, four, five. Hands on the ground. Step it through. Square the hips, warrior one. Straighten, revolving triangle pose. Intense side stretch.
wide legged forward fold, turning towards the long side of the mat. Let's walk the hands to the right leg, chest over the right. Hands over to the left. And back to sun. front plank. Knees on the ground. Coming back to camel. On to all fours. Let's take the right shoulder under. And then the left. to jump the feet to the front and back plank jumps one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, plank, and you can stretch it out in child's pose. plank we're going to jump this time side to side so side to side let's go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten let's go again one two three four five six seven eight nine twenty we're at one seventy let's go again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten relax the arms 180 plank twist your feet to one side 
and we're gonna do knee tucks one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine twenty opposite side one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine twenty and we'll lay near a wall booty to the wall so scoot yourself in lower onto the elbows takes a little wiggling to get yourself all close to the wall and we'll let for a moment the heels be right above the hips which really rebalances the pelvis Feel that drop in. And now we can drop the elbows down, which can pop the shoulders or the chest up. Bring the right leg onto the wall and let's go. So try to have the leg at knee, the foot at knee level. And we're gonna do bridge pumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine ten if i'm not mistaken this is 240 opposite side one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two really squeeze three try to keep them square and level four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten to sixty. Let's go. One more side on the right side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five six seven eight nine Woo. then try to dip it deep this is like better than gym so when you dip it low it really takes a lot of work from especially the underbutt area you can touch it it always is very important to visually and physically understand where, where the work is happening one, two, three, four, five, six, dip it, seven, eight, nine, ten. I literally have to take a break. That's how much work this is. It's like heavy weights. One, very effective. Two, three, four <laughs> goodness <sighs> five six seven <laughs> i can barely finish it <sighs> eight nine whoo 300 barely i barely finished the left side serious serious business <sighs> I'm really happy I included and came up with this one in the booty series, the first booty program, which is a favorite of mine. 
there was a few at least classes that I included this one. I don't remember how I came up with it, but anybody that's missing weights or heavy equipment, this will have the same effect. Now let's bring both legs and we'll go where 300. One, dip it down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, really squeeze. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, one, and relax. <sighs> Try to straighten the spine here. <sighs> Feel the body dropping and the legs dropping the femur into the socket. <sighs> Feel that gravity assisting you relieving the hip and pelvic area so we take everything out of its usual alignment and we we remove the legs if we have some twist twisting or unevenness in the hips to come out be creative either roll out or wiggle out lay onto your back bridge either bridge or wheel lower down one more time lower down knees into the chest plow
shoulder stand. Roll out. And you can roll onto your side and come into a plank and pigeon. Elongating the spine. You can include Mula Bandha in the breath here. Envisioning spaciousness around your heart, just space. Emptiness that cradles joy, the space for joy. So there is a feeling of spaciousness as opposed to cluttered a lot of People have cluttered space, a lot of clutter, emotional. And it really takes work to go back to our true nature, to our natural state of joyous, empty-hearted existence, empty-minded, and the heart is open unobstructed by faulty beliefs. We've created a lot of misery and we've been a part of a lot of misery and grief and suffering and slavery and the heart has suffered open you can bring the back and opposite side lengthen Level the hips, bring Mulabandha in, Ujjayi. Our true nature is free, so remembering that You can bring the back foot in. And to all fours, cat. Cow, cat, cow, cat lifting, neutral spine. Bending the right knee in front of us. So the right knee is in front, left foot near you and bending. 
and opening here with your elbow pushing. And you can straighten. And you can bring it behind the behind the shoulder. Maybe a arm balance. Bend the left knee on the floor and bring the right on the tippy toes on the side opening here kind of like the ancient yogic texts or tantric or hindu opening Truth be told, a modification of this is my favorite seated pose. And straightening. You can bring the, the knee behind. Opening an arm balance. Let's not drop it on Sophie. And speaking of joyous heart, I have not shared the good news with you, but Sophie, Sophie has been really improving in her health. She had she had issues when we came here to Austin, and some of them. She was able to heal, right, baby? And I should say miraculously completely reverse to where they're gone on the scan. Let's open the legs, forward fold. Side, side bend to side bend. Coming up, Lotus. Palms of the hands opening. Breathing into the heart. Essentially, we're traveling back home. We're trying to remember our true nature through life, continuously searching for our true nature, which seems to be forgotten. Continuously reconnecting to the divine, to the eternal beingness, consciousness, love dissolving all the mental hang-ups that keep us in slave in that cycle of suffering samsara and karmic chains burden 
a lot of it is within ourselves. We self-sabotage and enslave and chain ourselves because of the beliefs or the lack of capacity to repent, forgive and free. With forgiveness, I was talking to Johnny earlier, with forgiveness really a big part of it is repenting or our own consciousness awakening. The moment we realize something is a mistake, we don't have to keep repeating it and carrying it forward, existence after existence, or if you believe life after life, or through eternity. Once our consciousness awakens to that, that is the relief. If the consciousness cannot really truly deeply understand it, repent, then that's where we can't relieve ourselves. But once we're awakened to it, we're able to release it and to free a portion of ourselves up until we are free as we should be. We continuously searching for the true wisdom, connecting to the heart, reconnecting to the soul. Sometimes the connection seems to be gone. Listening to the soul's guidance and fulfilling the soul's path. Because we're not just this shell of a physical being that just needs all these things and has all these internal struggles and needs certain things to feel joyous. We are so much more, so much more. We're eternal consciousness. Let's bring the elbows into the belly. Lift. Lower down. <sighs> Sit in simple pose. Twist. Opposite side. One more time. Shifting and comfortably sitting. You can sit on a pillow or prop yourself or lay or sit comfortably. Breathing. And when you breathe, either visually or as a sensation, finding the chains around and within yourself and dissolving them. The chains in the heart, around you, anything that's holding you hostage enslaved and free <sighs> dissolving them with the power of love as there is no bigger power than the power of love feeling the essence remembering feeling the essence of your true nature
And sometimes those chains can be related to events that you remember in your life or things that you feel, feelings that you remember. Or it could be something you sense on a deeper level, something you feel, sometimes even blurry, just hidden, sometimes something you can feel, sense. And as we exhale, dissolving them, again, there is no bigger power than the power of love. And as we are a part of this eternal dance in the duality of this dimension, we have to remember that evil is a destroyer unto itself. And love can help us overcome absolutely everything and can bring us and guide us back to the light, to the lightness of being. To our true nature. And let's bring the hands over the third eye. Blink your eyes open. Thank you for joining me today. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember to flow with strength and ease.